Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to give a little, I guess, disclaimer. I feel like I've been doing a lot of hauls and that's because I've I've been doing a lot of hauls and this video was completely not planned. This video was actually supposed to be a fall perfume recommendation and then I was planning some like body mist recommendations for the fall time and just different videos like that. So I wasn't planning on doing this haul and I have a lot of perfumes to haul still like just backed up from videos that I was supposed to do and I got sick. In the past week, I've been sick, so I haven't really planned those videos in depth. Those types of videos require a little bit more planning, whereas a perfume haul doesn't really require planning. I just show you what I have here. So bear with me with this video. I'm sorry for all the repetitive, I guess, uh, perfume hauls. I will chill with these videos and I will have more variety coming up soon now that I'm feeling better. I just had like the worst sore throat of my entire life. Like I literally felt like I was swallowing razor blades and it was miserable. It's still a little bit hard for me to talk so I don't know if you notice it. Yeah, just bear with me through this video. I hope you guys like the perfume hauls. I know a lot of you do um, but I just wanted to make this disclaimer just in case because I know that like the past few videos before this have been hauls so i'm gonna chill with the hauls after this video i promise today's haul is a little bit different i usually do affordable perfume hauls and those will be coming because i have some affordable perfumes to show you as well but today i gathered up some of my newest more high-end perfumes i have a niche perfume here that was actually sent to me only one of these perfumes was sent to me the rest are all perfumes that I bought with my own money. The rest are kind of like in the middle. Some of them are like more on the affordable side. Then there's some that are a little bit more high-end designers. And then there is one that I really wanted to make this video uh, very soon so I could let you guys know. I don't know if it's still in stores right now because I recently got this like a week, like a little bit over a week ago, pretty much right before I got sick. And I wanted to film the video right away, but then I got sick, so it kind of like prolonged it. But this perfume right here is the first perfume I'm gonna talk about because I, I found this perfume at Ross. So if you wanna know what this is, keep watching this video. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before we get into it, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and turn your post notifications on and let's get started. This right here is not a can of tomato sauce. It's a perfume. If you are familiar with Jean Paul Gaultier, then you already know. His perfumes come in these like cans. When I first got my first Jean Paul Gaultier perfume, which was La Belle, I got so confused when this arrived to me in the mail because I'm like, what the heck? I literally was about to get out a can opener, but no, <laughs> you actually just like pop it open. Thumbs this video up or leave me in the comments if you guys saw the first impression of that La Belle perfume that I did. I did a whole like dedicated video to that perfume. And when I opened it, I literally like flung the perfume across the room because I had no idea it was gonna be right here and it just literally fell out. So if you watch that video, you're an OG. I wanted to talk about this perfume so bad because I was so surprised to see this at Ross. Like I went into Ross, not even looking into the perfume section. I was actually in there to look for a chair. And lately the perfume section at Ross and TJ Maxx and Marshalls has been very dry. Like I haven't really found anything, but my eye caught this. Like I saw the little can packaging and I'm like, is that a Jean-Paul Gaultier perfume? I looked at it and sure enough it was. This right here is Jean-Paul Gaultier Classique. I believe this is a collector edition. The first Classique that ever came out, it actually came out in an eau de toilette and then this came out after. I feel like people think that this is the original because this is an eau de parfum, but actually the eau de toilette came first and then this followed it. And I believe this comes in a few different packaging this one is kind of like a collector packaging i don't even need to know what this smells like this bottle is just this is so beautiful so the price of this was 79.99 which is definitely a little steep for ross but you do have to take into account this is a designer and it's just shocking to have seen it there i think the original bottle of the classique eau de parfum is one in like this uh lacy sort of outfit this one right here and then this was just kind of like a collector edition bottle that just came in like a different outfit being called classique it is definitely a classic perfume in the sense that it has that sort of old school vibe in it. This came out in the 1990s. So it does have a little bit of a vintage vibe and normally that would put me off. I know a lot of people like that and to each their own. Personally, it's not for me, but this I actually really, really like. And let me just say, this is one of those perfumes which I think Jean-Paul Gaultier does this a lot. His perfumes are like 
two sprays and put it down type of perfumes. Like they literally project till the next continent. Even if I were to use every single day, it would probably last me for like three years. Because seriously, you just, you, you can't spray more than a couple sprays of this stuff or you're gonna knock yourself out. It's very, very potent. This perfume has top notes of rum, tincture of rose, middle notes of vanilla orchid and narcissus, and base notes of vanille, amber, tonka bean, and sandalwood. I don't know about you, but those base notes sound like heaven to me. I was really intrigued to see that rum note in there because I do like boozy perfumes. I think like a booziness like bourbon vanilla or rum type of nose i think they just give perfumes a really really sexy sort of feeling it's floral and it comes off very vintage when you first spray this out but then it slowly dries down and i'm almost getting like a marshmallow note it's really weird a powdery marshmallowy sort of note it almost reminds me sort of like slightly they're not dupes or anything like that but it kind of slightly reminds me of love don't be shy as it's starting to dry down like it's that level of sweet but it's like equally floral at the same time like like if love don't be shy had a little bit of like a soapy more floral vibe to it i feel like this is what it would smell like it's just so like warm and boozy and inviting like this is like a mysterious woman and i just think it's such a stunning sweet warm addicting scent very sexy and i'm super happy to have found this let me know if you guys have the edt and if you've smelled both versions let me know which one you like more in my opinion seeing the notes of the edt compared to this i definitely think i like this more i think i might have smelled the edt somewhere along the lines in like a perfume shop or something and i didn't really like it like i remember it being more mature this one is mature but i think those sweeter notes kind of tone it down kind of tone that like super mature like vintage vibe um that it has it tones it down whereas the edt classique to me smells a little bit more vintage so depending on what you like then obviously you can go for either one but i definitely think that this is it for me so that is jean paul gaultier classique eau de parfum okay, next up i'm gonna get this perfume quickly out of the way this is the only perfume that was sent to me in this entire haul so fragrance dubois reached out to me and when i saw their email i freaked out because i love this house not that i've ever tried anything from them but i've always wanted to try something from them they're just very expensive they're on the niche side of perfumes and they're just so luxurious you guys will see the packaging of this is like insane so i was extremely excited when they sent me an email they wanted to just send me something they didn't say that i had to say anything about this perfume nothing they just wanted to gift it to me so i'm just sharing it with you guys but look at this packaging okay so you open it like that it's all like uh velvet is that what this is called yeah completely velvet has this like gold bar on it and then you open it and look at the inside look at the inside it's like freaking red satin and it just it looks expensive and i mean it is i think this might be like 300 like in the 300s i'm pretty sure but look, look at this perfume bottle the top has like these little jewels on it and then you get the name of the perfume it kind of reminds me of the baccarat rouge perfume bottle a little bit like it reminds me a lot of it actually and this is actually a little bit bigger than your standard perfume size this is a 3.5 and usually most standard size perfumes are 3.4 i feel like this perfume will last me forever and the smell i have no words for the way that this smells so this perfume is called cavert cavert i have no idea what like if that's supposed to stand for anything it feels so heavy like not just because it's a like more juice in it but like the glass actually feels so like thick <laughs> like she's thick even the cap weighs like 3500 pounds oh, the scent of this is so nice it smells expensive like i can smell money when i smell this perfume it's very perfumey and it's actually unisex it's considered unisex Personally, I find this way more feminine than I find it unisex. Like, there's nothing in here that's giving me, like, I don't know, manly cologne vibes, really. It's categorized as an amber floral fragrance. It has top notes of saffron, geranium, cinnamon, divana, middle notes of ylang ylang, rose, orange blossom, and jasmine, and base notes of incense, patchouli, sandalwood, and lebdenum. So definitely because of the incense, the sandalwood, the cinnamon, this definitely has... A spicy vibe when it opens up you get that saffron note it's a little bit more it like 
almost comes off like citrusy to me like it's kind of like a uh fresh opening and then as it dries down it kind of like thickens the dry down you can definitely smell the incense and the patchouli which i would normally not be a fan of and like i don't love this perfume to the ends of the world but I also don't hate it. I really, really like it. It smells extremely luxurious. Like, very, very luxurious. Pretty much exactly like how it looks. I'm gonna have to wear this more, test it out more. My throat is really not having it with me right now. Like, I'm like straining it even more than it is just by talking. Anyways, back to this perfume. Basically, like my full rundown of it. It's basically a spicy, warm floral type of perfume if i could rate this right now having not really tried it in great length i would probably give it like probably a six and a half out of ten not saying anything that this is a bad perfume i actually am really really liking it i just need to test it out more but it's beautiful it's just a little bit more like i guess incensey and patchouli than i would normally like my scents but definitely smells expensive okay the next perfume i have this perfume has been on my wish list well the next two perfumes have been... Oh my god, I can't get comfortable. The next perfumes I'm going to show you have been on my perfume wish list for quite some time now. And the first one is this guy right here. I have been trying to get my hands on this for... When I say years, I literally mean it. Because this has been like sold out, out of stock. I'm not really sure what the deal was with this. And then they brought it back just recently like just a few months ago they brought it back in a completely new packaging it used to look like this and now it comes in the same packaging that killian love don't be shy comes in so here's what it looks like now i love the all black bottle of it i haven't even told you the name this is princess by killian otherwise known as i don't need a prince by my side to be a princess yes ma'am if you watched my what perfumes i brought with me to vacation video towards the end of that video i showed you guys some little travel size perfumes that i had filled up random perfumes in and there was one in a black little tube that i couldn't figure out because i i the writing obviously wouldn't show up because it was all black and i could not figure out in that video i couldn't remember at all which perfume i had put in there until i saw this and i was about to go in to do this video and I was like, oh my god, that was the perfume that was in there. So if you guys watched that video and you're wondering what perfume... I have a hair in my mouth. So if you guys watched that video and you were wondering what perfume I had in that little tube... Because I actually got somebody that literally DM'd me on Instagram that was like... I, I really want to know what perfume was in there. Now you know, it's this. I actually specifically bought it because I really wanted to bring it with me over there. Because I'm a crazy person where like I bring perfumes like new perfume specifically to new places so that when I come back and I smell that perfume, it like takes me back to that memory. So that's basically why I got this perfume. And oh my God, my expectations were completely met. I actually was not a stranger to this perfume. Like this was not a complete blind buy because I had smelled this a long time ago at the store, but they didn't have it in stock. They just had a little tester of it at Sephora and I fell in love with it. But like I said, it was out of stock for the longest time until they finally brought it back. And as soon as I saw that it was restocked, I ran, I ran to the store and I freaking bought it. It is like the epitome of everything I love in a fragrance. And I can't even tell you guys how many of you have recommended this perfume to me. This has soft notes of lemon, middle notes of green tea, ginger, peach, hedione, jasmine, and apple. And base notes of marshmallow, vanilla, and benzoin. When I saw that marshmallow in conjunction with the vanilla, I was like, yeah, that, that did it for me. That, that was all I needed to see. I have Love Don't Be Shy, and although I like Love Don't Be Shy, this I love way, 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 way more. Love Don't Be Shy for me is a perfume that I can't wear at all times like it has to be a specific occasion for that perfume it's a little bit on the stronger side it's a little bit too sweet and that's literally coming from somebody that loves sweet perfumes but this is just the right amount of everything it's sweet you can smell the marshmallows but it's not overly like powdery or just too pungent like love don't be shy can sometimes come across like love don't be shy can easily give you a headache if you overdo it this does not do that for me like this is not headache inducing whatsoever it's just like a beautiful sweet marshmallow scent to me the only downside i would say about this i don't know if it's because of this new formulation 
Let me know if like the old one was better at this, but I don't think this lasts very long. It's not as strong. It's a little bit on like the softer side. Like I'm getting more of like a soft marshmallow vanilla sort of fragrance rather than like a strong projecting scent, which for the price, that's definitely a big, big con of this fragrance. But I don't really care. The sense of it is so good that I just overlook every aspect that is not good about it. Also, it has a little bit of like a spicy vibe into it. Like a little bit though. It's not that pronounced in this fragrance. It more so just kind of comes out when you first spray it out. Just because of that ginger note. But it very quickly goes into like sugary marshmallow vanilla mode in the dry down and that's pretty much what you okay, get. Okay, the next fragrance, this has also been on my list for a very long time, but this is one of those fragrances where it's been on my list, but I never knew if I was really gonna get it or not because I hear a lot of controversy surrounding this perfume and it's kind of one of those you either love it or you hate it type of perfumes. I didn't know which, which one I was gonna be. And it's not like the notes were really that appealing to me either. So it's definitely been on my list of perfumes that I wanna try, but it was never like bad enough for me to wanna try it. And then I was randomly in a Sephora and I was with my husband and I was just smelling perfumes because, you know, that's what I do. And I smell this perfume and I'm like, whoa, like that actually smells really freaking good. And then I had my wrist over to my husband to smell it. I'm like, here, you smell it. And he was like, oh my God, like I really, really like that. So this is a perfume I never thought I would like, but here I am showing it to you guys. This is Twilly Dermes and I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Oh, pauvre. Yeah. This is actually a flanker to the original and I went in there originally wanting to smell the original and I smelled the original but I did not like it. Definitely not even close to as much as I liked this one. The original one was a little bit like just all over the place to me. It was way too sharp. Like it almost came off as like cleaning chemicals. Whereas this one I loved, my husband loved. So here is the perfume. It's so cute. It literally has like a little top hat. And it has a freaking scarf, very classy. And that's exactly what this perfume smells like to me. Oh, it smells so good. It gives me Burberry perfume vibes, like Burberry London or something like that. Not that they smell similar, but it gives me vibes to that, if that makes any sense. And this is one of those perfumes, just like Alien from Thierry Mugler, that only has like three notes in it, but it smells like it has like 5,000 notes in it. It just smells super super complex and high-end But the notes that are listed is literally three notes and those are pink pepper rose and patchouli and Yeah, when I saw those notes, I was like I, There's no way I'm gonna like this fragrance like pink pepper. Okay, like that, I'm fine with that but then rose and then patchouli and I'm just like, yeah, no rose and patchouli are like some of my least favorite notes ever in perfumes but this does something magical on my skin. So it is actually the very next day. I wore the same shirt for it looking like this is one continuous video. But I had to like step back and take a break yesterday because my throat was just not. Uh, it was not doing well, but I'm back today to finish off this video and actually I'm adding one more perfume to this perfume haul that I had no idea about yesterday I just found out that this perfume came out today and I literally placed a like same-day delivery order on Sephora like Two hours ago and it just arrived at my doorstep right now. So I was like, let me include this It's the brand new Prada paradox perfume I will talk about this last after I get through the other perfumes, but I'm gonna do a whole Dedicated review. So if that video is out, I will link it up right here But anyways, let's get back to the perfume that I was talking about which was Twilly. As I was saying, this perfume just does so well with my skin initially when this opens up It's very peppery I don't know what it is, but I'm extremely attracted to peppery notes in perfumes. Like, there's a lot of perfumes where I love when they have a really strong peppery opening. And then this def definitely gives me, like, sweet vibes. And I'm not really sure where that's coming from, considering there's only, like, rose, patchouli, and pink pepper in here. I don't really know what is adding the sweetness. That pink pepper, for me at least, pretty much stays all throughout this fragrance. The rose... It's like, it gives it like a floral sort of elegant vibe. And then that patchouli, I want to say that I smell it, but at the same time I don't, which I'm a-okay with because I just love that it's a smooth type of patchouli and it's not too like 
punchy and in, in your face like patchouli can sometimes be so i just think this perfume is like a literal masterpiece of a perfume i think it's done so incredibly well it's so refined and it's just mixed to absolute perfection and it is just such a stunning feminine beautiful scent this perfume definitely is placed in more of like a I guess polarizing category of perfumes. It's not gonna be like your typical crowd pleaser. This one has a little bit more personality to it. Like it's unique and that's what I really, really love about it. But at the same time, I still consider this crowd pleasing in a unique way just because to me this smells incredible. And every person that has smelled this on me has really, really liked it. So this perfume is like a 10 out of 10 in my book right now. And I'm going to be doing a huge perfume declutter soon. And I will be making a video on that. So I'm trying to really just take out some perfumes that I, you know, I still like because I love my entire perfume collection. But I'm trying to be a little bit more, I don't want to say minimal because that's definitely not, not the word of what I am. But I want to just keep around perfumes that I absolutely love, love, love. So stay tuned for a major perfume declutter coming up. Okay, the next fragrance is this. I never in a million years thought that I would have purchased this perfume. This is Miracle by Lancome. I always thought of this perfume to be more of a mature perfume. I thought it smelled dated. I was never the hugest fan of it. And I know that it's been around for a minute. Like many people, this is like their signature perfume. This perfume was launched in 2000, so it's been around for a minute. And this perfume, I have smelled in the store before. I was like, oh, like, I don't really care for that. Like, it's like very mature for me. And then over the summer when I was in Greece, I was hearing that people use this a lot, at least for my cousins. Because when I was over there, I had asked my cousin, I was like, what are some like really popular perfumes here that I can look into? And she told me that this was one of them. And I wasn't going to buy it over there, but I knew that it would be much cheaper here, which it definitely is. I bought this at like a CVS. This is a one point... Oh, just a one fluid ounce. But I bought it at like CVS for like literally 30 bucks. And over there it was like $100. So I kind of waited on this one and I didn't buy it there. But that's where I found out about this. Or I guess where I really kind of grew to love this perfume. And I smelled it when I was over there. And actually my aunt used this. My cousin used it. And I would be smelling it the whole time that I was there. And I'd be like, oh my god, that smells like heaven. Like it's such a heavenly, heavenly feminine fragrance. Like this is for those of you that like lighter fragrances like you don't like the strong in your face powerful sweet fragrances this is like clean girl type of a scent if you're into that i think you would like this i would consider this more of a polarizing scent just because there is a slight i guess vintage vibe that this gives me but at the same time it doesn't because it's just like it's just smells clean oh my god it's so good i don't know if it's just because I have like memories attached to this perfume now, so I like it because of that reason. But I also feel like I like this just because of how it smells. If you do want like pretty much a spot on dupe to this perfume, that dupe is Just Me by Paris Hilton. These two are the exact same perfume. Like they smell so similar to each other. It's actually crazy. Like they, they could be the same perfume. So for those of you that maybe want to try this one out, but it's a little bit pricey. It's not that pricey, especially for a Lancome fragrance. This is considered designer, but because it's been out for a minute, you can definitely find this for a very decent price. But if you want to find it for even cheaper, you can check out Just Me. I think I bought this bottle. It's like, this is like a 3.4 100ml bottle. I think I bought it for like 15 bucks at Burlington. So if you see this there, pick it up if you're interested in knowing what this smells like. And then if you really like it, you can get the real one. The top notes in Miracle are lychee and freesia, middle notes of magnolia, pepper, ginger, mandarin orange, and jasmine, and base notes of jasmine, musk, and amber. Again, with that pepper note, I really smell it in this perfume once again. I don't know what it is with me and that note. Like, I really am attracted to peppery notes, pink pepper, things like that. I really like those notes. The lychee also kind of gives this a more feminine vibe. And then I definitely smell the freesia. It definitely has a fresh vibe about it all throughout. It's a little bit musky. There's some jasmine that comes through. 
it's just a beautiful fragrance all throughout very very feminine it reminds me of like a disney princess kind of perfume like something that a disney disney princess would wear it's basically like a fresh spicy floral scent so if you're into that you would love mirror okay, next up i'm gonna briefly talk about this perfume because i have talked about this before it wasn't a haul video but i talked about this in my what perfumes I brought with me to vacation video because I brought this perfume with me. So this is Givenchy Irresistible. I am so happy that I picked this fragrance up because I had always seen it at Ulta and I would just kind of like walk by it and I don't know why because I like a lot of Givenchy's fragrances but I never actually really smelled this one until I finally did. I was like, what the heck? Like, what have I been missing on? This is very, very nice. This is like a pear, musky, rosy, woody sort of fragrance. If you like pear notes in your perfumes, like a sweet fruit type of note. Pear is just a really like juicy sweet fruit. I feel like when I smell this, I just have a fresh bowl of pears in front of me. But it's also like fruity and floral. It's a little bit musky. It dries down to like a woody dry down. So it is more complex than like your typical just boring fresh fragrance, which is why I really like it. And if you guys did see the video of me um, talking about this in the perfumes um, that I brought with me to vacation video, then you know my little story with this. So I guess I will repeat it if any new viewers are watching this but basically i had picked this up at ulta and right after ulta i had gone to the mall and i was in h&m and i was waiting in line and the cashier was like this teenage boy and he was checking some people out in front of me and then as soon as they left i obviously went up in line and he was like he was like you smell so lovely and i said it in that video too but like that's the exact word that he uses like he called this perfume lovely that was such a sweet comment and every time i get a compliment on a perfume especially a new perfume that i'm not too familiar with it kind of like solidifies even more that i like it if that makes any sense like not because i got validation from other people that it's good but it makes me feel like oh my god like it, it is as good as i think because other people also think it's good and the fact that he could smell it from like as far as i was like he told me that he was smelling the scents ever since he had the people that were in front of me in line like when i was still in the back of the line and then once i walked up to him he could like really really smell it so that is my little rundown on irresistible it is a beautiful fresh pear fragrance fruity enough bit floral and sweet this is compared to delina a little bit at least on fragrantica it is i wouldn't say that they're the same but i think because of that lychee note they kind of have a similar similar lychee vibe but the lychee in here is not as bitter as it is in delina and delina is a little bit more out there this one is way 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 more wearable and toned down and then i quickly wanted to mention this so you guys know my huge love for good girl by carolina herrera well, before my trip that I went on, I wanted to get the lotion because I love this perfume so much that I wanted to smell like it 24-7, so I bought the lotion. And as you can see, it's halfway gone because I brought it with me to vacation, and I, I used it a lot. I would wear it alone. I would mix it with other perfumes. I would wear it with Good Girl, and I loved it in every single way that I wore it. Ugh. Oh my god, I got it on my nose. This is really good. It basically smells exactly like the perfume Good Girl. It's a little bit pricey. This is definitely something that is a splurge item. Like, if you're really trying to splurge, you get this. But I don't know. I just, I guess I didn't really want to be without this scent. So, I bought the whole lotion of it. Alright, and then on to the last fragrance. Like I said, I'm not going to talk about this too much because I'm making a whole separate, like, whole dedicated review on this. Literally right after this video is done. But I did want to mention it in this video because I'm so excited. It, it is literally the newest perfume I have in my collection. Pretty much just came through my door. This is the brand new Prada Paradox perfume. Now, I have to say I love this perfume. Prada hasn't released a new perfume in a pretty long amount of time, I feel like. Like, they've released flankers, but they haven't released, like, just... A brand new on its own perfume so this was really exciting when I saw it I don't remember where I saw it. I think I might have seen it on Instagram like I think I saw the ad with Emma Watson this is so cute it's in a triangle which is obviously very uh, true to Prada I really like this from what I smelled of it I actually have this all over me because I sprayed it all over me as soon as it came through the door I will say it does smell like a mashup of a lot of my favorite perfumes so i think that has to do a lot with why i really like it like this smells like the mixture of like 
Valentino Donna, born in Roma. Voce Viva by Valentino. It has a vibe of like alien to it because it has this strong jasmine sort of smell. And yeah, it's just like a mashup of all of those perfumes. And I love all of those perfumes, so I obviously love them all mixed together, which is what I think this perfume is. It is a mainstream perfume, I feel like. Like, it's not the most unique thing in the world. Like I said, it's a mashup of all those perfumes, and all those perfumes are very popular mainstream perfumes. But I really like the way that they all smell together. Like, this is sweet, it's fresh, it's floral. It has aspects of, like, every category of perfume in it. I do think that it's more sweet than anything else but wow like this is really good i'll go into depth and all of like the top notes and everything about what i think about this perfume in the next video so stay tuned for that if that video is out before this i will link it up here but yeah i'm i'm really liking paradox so far so that is like a successful new purchase of mine oh my god and it was a blind buy but i knew i was gonna like it just based off of the notes and the perfumes that it was compared by i was like yeah i'm gonna like that and i right, so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this perfume haul like i said i'm sorry for doing so many perfume hauls but as you can tell right now my throat is at like it's it's end it's it's on two percent right now it's like about to go out completely so yeah i hope you guys can bear with me i am gaining back my energy and I, I'm feeling more like myself now so I will get into all of my normal videos I have some exciting fall perfume videos coming up fall body mist and all things like that and definitely make sure to request any videos that you would like to see but that is it for me today please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video bye